Gangrenous mastitis occurs sporadically during the first three months of lactation often associated with poor milk supply related to you underfeeding and over-vigorous sucking by the lambs. The condition is more common in use nursing triplets than twins, and very rare in use rearing singletons. It is usually caused by organisms such as Mannheimia hemolytica and Staphylococcus aureus. Gangrenous mastitis is a major welfare concern and is a sporadic cause of ewe death and loss of lambs. Clinical signs. Gangrenous mastitis is often preceded by lesions on the udder and teats caused by the lambs' incisor teeth. Ewes are often dull and depressed, separated from the rest of the flock, and sometimes drag their hind leg on the side of the affected quarter. The udder gland is usually markedly swollen with purple, black discoloration of the skin extending to the ventral abdominal wall. Effective use will show a marked loss of condition due to the toxemia, and the gangrenous udder tissue eventually sloughs leaving a large granulating lesion with superficial bacterial infection. Granulation tissue can continue to proliferate over the following months. Prompt antibiotic and supportive therapy should be instituted, such as procaine penicillin injections and anti-inflammatories. Lambs from the affected use should be housed and given supplementary feeding. Topical antibiotics can also be applied to any udder or teat lesions to prevent progression of the disease. Use with a severe form which have lost part of their udder are unsuitable as breeding stock and they should be culled during the acute phase of the disease.